we have a pair of the new Springfield Hellions. This is the Croatian VHS-2 that's been imported in semi-auto form. Uh, I've got one here with a magnified optic. Jordan's got one with a red dot. Um, Jordan, you want to tell us a little bit about where these things came from? Um, to try and keep a long story short, uh, the first version of the VHS, which I believe is called the F1, came out in about 2007, 2008, and was adopted, but they kept trying to push it and make it a better rifle. The original was basically like a FAMAS, um, but they wanted, <laughs> they wanted to make everything a little bit better, so this is the current production, everything that the Croatian military is using. It's all the same, minus it's got a separate mag well for Stan Egg mags instead of G36 mags. Um, and I believe this one came in in 2012, 2013, somewhere around there. So what's interesting to me here is this looks like the fancy new commercial bullpup to us, but this is actually a gun that's gone through 15 years plus of, of trial and iteration, yeah. and it has actually had some military deployments. Uh, they're perhaps not the most... You know, grandiose sounding ones. It's been it's used by the Croatian military, of course. Also used by the Iraqi military. Yes. Interestingly, uh, the Iraqis bought some and they really enjoyed them. And then there's a bunch of small nations that have purchased some for special forces. Some sort of strange malfunction where there's no more bullets in the gun. That thing handles quite well. <laughs> I like it. Oh. How, many, how much ammo do you have left? I have, let me see, zero. No I have ammo. nothing left. I have nothing. Last round, bolt hold up and works. Show clear on the range. There's the button. And we'll dry fire. I planned that. That's the perfect way to shoot it. You run dry on the last shot. Under it. Huh. All right, I want to point something out on camera here. It really was nice that I had, that I could shoot from either side because when I got under that port, I realized if I'm shooting this left-handed with the ejection side down, I'm gonna bounce cases right off the ground and cause malfunctions. So I was able to shoot it right-handed under the barricade and not worry about eating the brass, but still give the brass a clear path up and out for a really low barricade shot like that. And that actually worked really well.